Well, hello YouTube. I'm going to show you guys how to play Metal of Honor Allied Assault online and fix the resolution. Pretty simple. So the first thing you want to do is actually launch the game. I know it's going to look kind of funny in the, uh, the screen because the resolution is not correct right now. But you have to launch the game first. Skip all this stuff. So first thing is you just play a new game. Start a new game. Let it run for a second. And then quit. Next thing you're going to do is I will link to a website where I got this from. So first thing you want to do is go to wherever your game saved. Mine's an origin, so it's going to be your origin games, mode of another assault. And you're gonna go to main. Configs. And unnamed unnamed soldier. Open that. And I will list this in the description. But you want this right here. Copy all of this. Like I said, I'm gonna have it in the description of the video. You can see all these SATA. Hit space. Paste it right there. Now this is for 1080p. So if you don't know your resolution, just right click on the desktop. Display settings. You see mine's 256. Change that to 256 by 1440. By 1440. And then just save. Now, if you want to do that for Spearhead and Breakthrough, you have to launch them too. And go back to and theirs are going to be in main TA and main TT for Spearhead and Breakthrough. So it'll be the same thing, you just open configs, a name soldier, copy the same thing. And then change it to whatever resolution. This is the most common, so I'm going to leave it like that for everybody else. Now to get it to work online, you have to go to a website, but it will not load in Chrome. It's mohreborn.com. But for some reason, Chrome flags it as evil website you can get it you can get to this website anyway but when you try to download a file it doesn't work so we're gonna use Microsoft Edge and it looks just fine so once you get to the website click how to switch I tried their universal patcher and it did not work so what we're going to do is you're just going to download this one for players, unless you're running a server. Just download this for players. We're going to save it on the desktop. And then you can download the same ones for Spirit and Breakthrough if you're playing them as well. They also have one for... Um, well, I thought they had one for Pacific Assault, but I don't see it. Anyways, so once you have that downloaded, like this one, so then you go back to the Origin Games folder and just cut, paste, replace this file. What this does is it gets it. The servers it changes some files so you can actually see the servers so then when you launch also one other thing if you have this in origin to get the spirit and breakthrough you have to go to extra content and here's because the war chest is like 10 bucks so it's really cheap so once you launch it
You know, something that's kind of funny. If you go into the video settings, it'll say negative one, but it'll be whatever resolution you have it. As you can see, there's no more black bars or anything. It actually fits the full screen. And then go over to multiplayer, multiplayer options. You want to make sure you change your. Oh man, I love that typewriter. So change your name. Change whatever model you want to be. Let's be let's be Manon. Let's be ooh scientist. To apply, and then when you go to join an internet game, look they show up. Um, I've had a lot of problems with this Doom server. It's so we're not gonna play on that one. I like playing this server, it's pretty good. And like I said, you can pretty much do the same steps if you want to play Spearhead or Breakthrough. Um, yes, sir. Down the letter, thank you. Oh, whole enemy team is right there. Let's see if I can bash someone with a hammer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna quit. And if you want, I can show you guys how to do it for Spirit. Let's mean the same thing. We're just going to extra content, play Spirit. Now again, uh, it's gonna be kind of messed up. Once it loads. Because the highest resolution that it, it gives you can do is that. So let's change that real quick so you guys can actually see it a little bit better. But when you go to multiplayer, as you can see, nothing shows up. But we have to start a single player game real quick. Because that's what creates that config file. If you try to edit the file without playing single player, it just diverts back to uh, its original settings. So just let this run for a second. Alright, that's probably enough, so quit. We're gonna go back to our config file. Searching games. But this time we're gonna go to main TA. I believe it's spearhead. We're gonna copy this again. Figs, unnamed soldier. in there I'm gonna change ours two fifty six fourteen forty save this open that and then we're gonna go back to edge MOH reborn dot com how to switch spearhead desktop save. 
it. Paste. Replace file. Then we're going to relaunch Spearhead. EA Games. Challenge everything. You know it worked because there's no bars. We'll also check one other thing. So if you go back to the options video, yep, negative one. You should be able to even do this with 4K. I haven't tried it, but it should work the same way. Let's see, who do we, let's be, be British. An officer. Join in that game, and there they are. It's not as populated as regular Elder Scrolls, but pretty simple though. Some of these servers are really laggy. Oh, machine gun. Ah! I just do. No idea what I just did. Oh, it located the radio. <laughs> so many these servers are so modded. It's insane. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's pretty much how you get it to work. So, good luck guys. If you like what I showed, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next video.